hey guys welcome back to a new video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this cool shimmer effect on your roblox game so to um start first you need this module so i'll leave a link in the description go ahead and click on get model and it will be added to your roblox inventory and now i'm going to create a new base plate to show you how to do this and then I will show it in a game I'm using. So the way we can do this is first we're gonna click on view and go to toolbox and under my inventory and my models, you will find the module you just got. Just click on it and click on okay. And under the explorer, find Shyam, the module and this is what you need anything else inside that you can delete um, i'm going to drag the shine module into the replicated storage and delete this folder and now um, i'm going to start by adding a simple frame just to show how it works so i'm going to resize it and make it darker and this is how it's going to be let me just center it okay so now let me add this chime effect because right now it looks pretty boring so to do that what you have to do is just um open a new local script under the frame anywhere you like and first let me get the frame which is script dot parent and then now let me get the shime module which is um first i'll get the replicate storage and then say shime uh, require replicate storage shine and now um we are going to um start scripting the shimmer effect so to do that all we have to do is first i'm going to just make a variable called shimmer and it's going to be shine dot new and inside that there's some parameters you need to fill in uh the main one is gui objects which is going to be the frame it's going to be the gui which you're going to add the effect on and then this time time is how fast or slow it is um i'm going to keep it at like one um so it will be it will take one second for the shimmer effect to go through the gui object and then there's the easing styles and the direction which you can set uh but i'll come to that in a bit now um now that we created a shimmer object this technically creates the shimmer we have to play it so shimmer play and there's one more thing you could do there's something called shimmer pause so you could pause the effect um there's just one thing to note in case you need it so now let me just play the game and see if it works as you can see the shimmer effect is working um so let me go through all the other parameters as well so you'll get a better understanding so um i'm going to set the easing style so enum dot easing style and there are different easing styles you can use and each one gives a different result so you can experiment with it but i'm going to go with exponential and then nm dot easing direction the same thing with that uh, there's different styles to each uh, method so i'm going to use in out um, and then there's uh, the repeat uh, repeat count it's like how many times it should repeat if i put minus one then it's on it's, it's going to loop it's, a, it's just going to keep repeating but if i put one um then it's gonna only play once and if i put two it's gonna play two times so i'm just gonna keep it at one and then on um, the reverse i'm gonna put false if you want it to reverse back like if you want it to go from left to right and come back to the left then make this true um and then there's the delay time 
if you want a delay for the animation to work I'm just gonna put zero so those are the things and now what I'm gonna do is instead of just saying shimmer play I'm gonna say something like frame input began connect to a function input if input um, use input type and then use input type mouse button one then we're gonna say shimmer play so what this will do is whenever we click on that frame it's gonna give that effect as you can see once I clicked on it um, it worked as you can see yeah uh, the reason it's going twice is because we put one because it goes from zero so if you put zero let's we'll say we'll see what it does as you can see whenever I click on it um, it just goes once but the thing with this is once when I put zero and I play it once it just stops and then we cannot play it again I don't know what's wrong with it it just keeps happening if you guys know what's wrong please let me know in the comment section but um let me go back let's click on it every time we click on it it will give that effect so now I'll show you guys um where this will look useful so let me just pull up another game I made okay so it's one of my games and it's like a main menu so in this um i'm going to implement the shimmer effect on the buttons which is this this and this so it will look more cleaner uh, let me just do one more thing which is just turn this visibility off that was just something to test so let me show you how the before and then i will at the shimmer effect and show how it is after so right now this how it is we can select if it's 1v1 or 2v2 and then play i mean party and it will start matchmaking but i want uh, another feeling to this ui which is when i click on uh when i hover over party i want it to do the shimmer effect and when i select a type i want it to do the shimmer effect as well so now let me do that and see how it looks okay so i just finished um all i did was for the party button i just added a cooldown because i don't want the player to keep powering the mouse all way to keep triggering it and uh, for the uh, one v one and two v two buttons i just uh, um just added the shimmer effect differently so let me just take a look and see if it'll work as you can see when we hover our mouse over it it will um trigger so it gives a much better um uh, feeling to the game um i think i should make it a bit uh, slower let me just click as you can see it's just so much cleaner and i don't like the fact that it keeps repeating so i'm just going to put zero and i'm going to do something which is pretty hacky but i think it will work i'm just gonna keep creating a new shimmer effect every time the player does it just because we can make it play once um for the party button um i'm going to make the speed like three seconds uh, and do the same thing which is this so now i think it will look way better Okay, so as you can see, on how my mouse will wait, just this cool effect. Um, that's pretty cool. And if I click, if I choose the game mode, it does the shimmer effect. 
this just increased the quality of the game very well and uh, gave um, such a good feeling to the game not gonna lie so yeah that's how we use the shimmer effect and if you enjoyed this video please let me know and I'll make more and I am going to be making three to um, two to three videos a day from now on just to increase the channel's growth so yeah um see you guys in the next one thanks for watching as always peace